Yeah, so Wolf of Wall Street. I'm, I was about 30 pounds into losing all the weight for Dallas Buyers Club when I got the call from Martin Scorsese to come in for a couple of days and play this guy, Mark Hanna, who's sort of the mentor to Leonardo's uh, Belfort character. And it's a scene, as you well know if you've seen it, in a restaurant where I'm sort of giving him the lay of the land of what this business is and what it's not. Um, I went in to that and they had this one line that was already written in the script. And I call it a launch pad line. I had one in Days Confused. Um, I've, I had one, as I told you, that Steven Soderbergh gave me in a Magic Mike. It's a, it's a line, sometimes you get a line in the script that just the imagination just soars and I can just fly with it and go, unpack that line. If this character means that, then there's an encyclopedia on this man. And that line with Mark Hanna was he's explaining to the, the secret of this business to Leonardo's character and he says, the secret, it's cocaine and hookers. And I just read that and I was like, if this guy, re if this guy really believes that, who the hell is this guy? So I started writing that encyclopedia. And I started talking to all these different kind of brokers and that were of that time. And I started writing a lot of things down. And uh, um, really what's on screen turned out to be a rap, which Leonardo teed me up. But Martin Scorsese let me run. And uh, I don't think Martin Scorsese gave me any direction in English. He didn't give me any direction. It was almost like he just, he just talked to me musically. Yeah, do ba 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 ha and ha He, Martin Scorsese, loves funny. He would just make these sounds and, and musical beat sounds and, and, and point, yeah, 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 do that, that. And so I just, he just let me go. And I just went off and did what you see in the movie. The actual, mm -hmm. that is something that I'll do not only in this film, I'll do it before scenes in, in a lot of films. I'll come up with a different tune, and it's a relaxation tool for me. It's musical, so it gets me out of my head, because I don't want to be thinking as an actor. I want to be doing. Um, it also keeps my voice low and, and keeps my instrument um, loose. Well, I was doing that before every take, and then on action, I'd stop and go into the scene. So we do about five takes. We have the scene. Martin's ready to move on. I said, I'm good. Well, as we're packing up to move on to another setup for another scene, Leonardo goes, Hey, Marty, hang on a second. Marty goes, yeah. He goes, Leonardo leans over. He goes, what's that thing you're doing before this scene? And I told him, I said, oh, I'm doing a relaxation uh, technique. And he's like, what if you put that in the scene? And I went, and we rolled, and I started, I did it in the beginning, and then got into my sales pitch. And I didn't know if I was going to do it again. And I got to the end and I said, you know what, musically, it'd be great to bookend this scene with that because I start off with the beat, then I give him the rap on what it is to be a broker in this business and what it is not. And I said, if I can then at the end invite him in on the beat, that'll be like, now you got it. And so I did it and that was all, that was one take. We got it. 